Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you're here. And to everyone that has been so patient and kind, sending me emails and messages, I really appreciate it. I am okay, kind of. I'm studying for the bar exam here in the United States, which is no fun at all. Um, but I take it in less than two weeks, so hopefully in two weeks I will be back to posting my regularly scheduled content, content, and back to responding to all of your emails, which are lovely, I read every single one, and back to doing custom videos. So if you have sent me an email about a custom video, I promise I'm getting to it. But anyway, I wanted to do a little audio ASMR for you today because I don't really feel like I'm looking my best. So I just wanted to talk to you all today. Hopefully this will be okay. And like I said, in a couple weeks, I will be back to posting regularly. But today I'm going to talk to you about the bar exam. The bar exam which I will be taking here in the United States. I'm taking it in the Midwest, in my home state. And actually, my testing location is a pretty good one. So I'm excited. I just got my assignment for where I'm going to be taking it. And I think it will be hopefully good. We'll see. I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself. So today I'm going to talk to you about the bar exam, hopefully relax you, especially if you don't have to take it. And if you are planning to go to law school one day here in the United States, or are just interested in learning about it, hopefully it will be a little bit educational. They didn't really tell me a lot of this in law school, so this is mainly what I learned from my bar prep company. So essentially, I am going to be taking the bar exam, um, which in my state falls under the Uniform Bar Examination, which is also known as the UBE. UBE. It is coordinated and put on by the National Conference of Bar Examiners, also known as the NCBE. Get ready for a ton of acronyms here because they are everywhere and they love them. And it took me a while to understand how all this works. So essentially, the Uniform Bar Examination, the UBE, is coordinated by the NCBE and is composed of several, um, several components. Composed of several components. It is composed of the Multi-State Essay Examination, or the MEE, two Multi-State Performance test, Tasks, or the MPT, and the Multi-State Bar Examination, or the MBE. A lot of acronyms, like I said. It is uniformly administered, scored, and its results um, come in what's called a portable score, meaning it can be transferred to other UBE jurisdictions. So, um, let's see here, where are we? So, um, oh, and even though it is portable, some jurisdictions require different scores. It is scored out of 400, and the minimum score that some states require is a 260 out of 400. But each state is different. I think the highest state score required is actually in Alaska. Alaska. And it is a 280. 80. But like I said, each jurisdiction sets its own passing score. So, um, let me talk to you a little bit more about the UBE, the Uniform Bar Exam. 
The UBE, like I said, consists of the three parts, the MBE, the MEE, and the NPC, and I'll go over that a little bit more here in a minute. But essentially, um, the UBE is administered twice a year over the course of two days. So yes, it is a two-day exam, typically on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. It's offered in February and July, so I'll be taking it on July 27th and 28th. Um, it's weighted as follows. The multi-state bar examination, or the MBE, makes up 50%. The multi-state essay examination makes up 30%. And the multi-state performance test, or the MPE, PT, excuse me, MPT, makes up 20%. I'll start with the MBE, or the Multi-State Bar Examination. It is um, a 200-question multiple-choice exam that is administered over a six-hour period. Um, it's typically on the second day, and it's, so they say, used to help bar examiners determine competence to practice law. Specifically, it is used to act assess an examinee's ability to apply fundamental legal principles, exercise legal reasoning, and analyze fact patterns. Like I said, it's weighted 50%. Um, and currently, um, let's see here, I think it's 27 states and jurisdictions, including Washington, D.C., um, administer and accept the UBE, um, and they, while it's administered uniformly across these jurisdictions, the jurisdictions themselves are responsible for certain aspects of the exam, like determining who can sit for the exam, how many times they can take it, scoring the multi-state performance test component, setting score release policies, and like I said, setting passing score now we will go over the MEE, or the Multi-State Essay Examination. So, it may cover business associations, which is comprised of agency and partnership corporations or limited liability companies, conflict of laws, contracts, criminal law and procedure, which they roll into one subject, although typically in law school it's um, two separate courses, criminal law and then criminal procedure, or crim pro, as it's called. Evidence, family law, federal civil procedure, real property, torts, trusts, and estate which is made up of decedents, estates, trusts, and future interests, or the uniform, 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 commercial code, Article 9, and secured transactions. So unlike the MBE, the multiple choice portion, which is graded and scored by the NCBE, the MEE is also graded exclusively by the jurisdiction that administers the bar exam. So now, I'm going to talk about the Multi-State Performance Test, or the MPT. It consists of two 90-minute exams that are administered together on the Tuesday. Um, and basically, it's a lawyering skills component, um, which tests you on realistic situations, um, as opposed to substantive knowledge of the law. So yes, that is essentially what the bar exam consists of. It matters because it's been adopted all throughout the country. It's a standardized exam, and um, it can be transferred to seek admission to the state bar in any UBE jurisdiction. It's pretty scary. Um, and I'm pretty nervous about it, I'm not gonna lie. I've never had to study this hard for something, and it's just kind of like a culmination of my entire law school career. 
if you have any questions for law school um, or what I'm doing to study for the bar, if you want to see any other legal related videos, of course none of this constitutes legal advice, I'm not a licensed attorney, um, obviously, and I would, I would love to do more, I love talking about it, and I hope that this has been fun and relaxing for those of you that are not sitting for it in a few weeks, maybe taught you a couple things, I know it can be really confusing, if you're still confused, that's okay, it took me quite a while to feel like I understood what the bar exam was going to be asking me to do, but uh, yeah, here is a tip in a couple weeks, please send me good vibes, prayers, and any other <laughs> good luck that you can muster up for me. Thank you so much for listening today, and again, I will be back in a couple weeks, hopefully ready to go with some more videos. I love you all so much, and thank you for tuning in to Blue Eyes.